Okay, people, guess what? You hear that? We have a brand new presenting sponsor, and it's one of my favorites of all time, For Loco. Oh. We are now introducing Only Stands For Loco partnership, and we are piping up this beautiful jungle juice. Look at that design on this thing. We got the orange, we got the black, we got the beautiful lettering. I'm a guy that loves the design, and if I, as soon as I walk into the store to purchase a Four Loco, I'm gonna go straight to the jungle juice. This jungle juice is obviously the new king of the jungle. I think you could agree with that, Veronica. Look at this can, it's a beautiful can. It's for the real party animals out there. I mm -hmm. think we haven't partied yet, but I think mm -hmm. you could tell I'd probably be a good guy to party with. You're perfect. You, you've never done it, but you, I think you could agree that I'd be a good guy to party mm -hmm. with. So we're gonna pop up with this beautiful Loco, give it a nice sip, and um, yeah, Four Local creates epic stories. Everybody knows that. It's about as much of a party drink as you could get. It's, and you're from Slovakia. I don't think you have them there yet. But this, I can't tell you the legend that is Four Loco. I was telling you, I was telling you before we even started how when you think of Four Loco, you think of party, you think of fun, you think of a good time. It's, it's the stuff of legend. And the fact that they're now a sponsor of mine truly brings a tear to my eyes. So cheers to that. Some cheers. Four Loco jungle juice. But before that, yeah, I'm going to give a quick to let you guys know where you guys can get it. You can find 4Loco near you at 4Loco.com and follow 4Loco on Instagram at 4Loco. Not the number, spell it out, at F-O-U-R-L-O-K-O. 4Loco on Instagram. Find 4Loco near you at 4Loco.com. And once again, on Instagram at 4Loco, F-O-U-R-L-O-K-O. And once again, Veronica, thank you for being my first 4Loco episode. Cheers to that. Let's give a quick for local jungle juice review because I'm excited about it. Thank you so much for having me and cheers. That is so good. Okay. That is 13.9 percent alcohol. Mm. That'll get you at a taste. Damn good vodka. Okay, folks, we are live from beautiful Los Angeles, California. We have like eight episodes in the next two days, which I'm very excited about. We're starting with our biggest guest of the eight. We're just going right into it. We have Veronica Rajic here. Did I Hi. say that correctly? Yes. I'm Rajic, but in America, I'm Rajic. Rajic. Ver Veronica Rajic. Yes. That sounded good. But America, I'm Rajic. In America, it's Veronica Rajic. Yes. Very happy to have you here. We have a lot to talk about. I am very happy to be here. So I know you just mentioned, let's just get right into it. I know you just mentioned in America, it's Rajic. So my first um, question I asked every guest on my show is because I think this is the perfect, I think the perfect question to ask when you first meet somebody, no matter what walk of life you're in, is where are you from? So where are you from? Give me your backstory. Phew. Do we have like three hours of talking we now? We have 12 hours if you want. Okay. So I am from Europe. Very tiny country. Slovakia. No Slovenia. No Russia. That's the important to say. Because so many Americans or people around the world, they think that Slovakia is same like Slovenia. It's not. Uh, I, and I'm also from very tiny city. It's more like town. Okay. Vranov, not Toplo. This is like a big, big shout out for my uh, small town. Vranov, not Toplo. Yeah. <laughs> so there is like 20,000 people in this town. And I was born and raised there with my parents. So what to say? We have beautiful mountains in Slovakia. Ooh. Beautiful girls in Slovakia. No way but not good opportunities in Slovakia. No. So that's why I came here. Well, we're happy to have you here in America. America. I I'm love gonna, America. I'm going to ask you one more Slovakia question. That I, let's let's I, do it. If you couldn't tell, I happen to enjoy food or cuisine. Okay. When you think of your favorite Slovakian meal, take me through it. My favorite Slovakian food is brinzove halushki. You have to... It's like dumplings with cheese okay so maybe some sort of dumpling with cheese so i'm kind of thinking i don't know if you've seen these in america before like a pierogi in the pierogi Kinda, family like pierogi yeah pierogies are but good i can show you a picture i would love to see a picture i will a show photo. a picture it's look a little bit different but pierogi pierogi it's a, it's adds a, it's, my it's a cousin of the pierogi yeah definitely it look that. like this it's it's like small dumplings and it's very I don't want to say wet, like it's like so much, how it's called, sauce on it, you know, like the, the cheese sauce. Hey, it's Veronica. look like this. And you are eating it in the cottage houses. Yeah. Like when you are going to the mountains after skiing session, you are going there and you are eating it and it's so warm and so tasty. And mm. it's like, 
Unbelievable. Oh. You're hyping me up and I don't even ski. You have to visit Slovakia. I would love to go to Slovakia, I think. <laughs> I, so you um, just mentioned sauces. Do you like sauce on food? Like hot, hot sauce? Not hot sauce. <laughs> like maybe, hot sauce. maybe a ranch and aioli. I love ranch. So, I love one pizza in America. I don't know if I can name it because it's like advertisement, so I will not name it. Ooh. But I love the pizza with like bread pizza. Yeah. I ate it in Chicago. Okay. Too much cheese, and I just dip it to the ranch. I love ah, ranch. That's sacrilegious in New York. New York City, we hate the people that put ranch on pizza. But if Why? We're be- but if we're being honest, it tastes pretty good. Right? But, yeah, I mean, ranch is great on everything. Um, can I pitch you a business idea of mine? Speaking Tell of me. sauces, I want to get your opinion on it. Okay. Maybe you could give me some Slovakian influence to a sauce. Hmm. So my nickname is Glenny Balls. Okay. So I'm thinking about making a book called Balls Book of Sauce. Okay. And it's a cookbook, but it's only sauces. Okay. So we could have, let's say, your favorite ranch recipe in there, how to make it at home. Um, I am terrible chef. <laughs> I don't know how to we're cook. Just, we're just combining. We're just combining ketchup mayo some relish all that's all we do to make these homemade sauces okay and then maybe i could reach out to some celebrity friends of mine and have their favorite sauce in there too so maybe we could get veronica radrick's favorite sauce in there as one of the pages and it could be a sauce from that dumpling dish you just mentioned okay not a bad idea i can try i will do my best i cannot promise if you have any other friends that want to submit their sauces let me know i'm thinking about i have many friends who love sauces I'm thinking maybe maybe Christmas 2024, the sauce cookbook will be a thing. Oh, okay. Congratulations. I, I hope I just, you will sign it for me. I, I, haven't, I haven't told anybody about it, but I just decided we're going to do it. Okay. Perfect. So uh, moving on. Well, let's move. Okay. This, this is an OnlyFans show, so I figured let's discuss OnlyFans first. Okay. How'd you get I into that? I have to drink. Give me a second. Take a swig. Mm. Okay. So how'd you get into that? How'd you get into that? Into that world? When when did this happen? Give me your backstory in this. Okay. You want to know the the truth? I want the truth Are and you nothing ready but for the it? truth. Yeah. It will be very controversial. I love that. I don't I don't know if the internet is like ready for I love hear it. the truth. Let's okay. hear it. So my backstory. I started my Instagram when I was 17 years old. It's like 10 years back. Okay, back in Slovakia, I went for my high school, sport high school, and I did athletic, like high jump, uh, sprints. I was very talented in this, but I love also modeling. I, back then, I also did like modeling, like since my 14, but back to the Instagram. I went to, I went to Miss Slovakia, it's like competition, the beauty pageant, and I started doing my Instagram. I start adding posts every day. And in 2019, I just started to dance for all these music. I am a big fan of all this music. I am very old soul and I love it. Like mm-hmm. I love old, old music. I'm, I'm listening ABBA. I, I'm just, I love this feeling, you know, the, like back then. Also, like I love when people are talking like America is not what it used to be like 20 years back. I don't know what was America 20 years back because I wasn't. Like, I was born, but I wasn't, like... So you were adult. on Instagram dancing to the oldies? Yes. Like, American oldies? American, yeah, Could you give mostly. me one off the top of your head? Like, who? What bands? Take on me. me take, take on, on me. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Great tune. Take me on. I'm a terrible singer. No, oh, my hey, God. Beautiful Jesus voice. Christ. You should go on American Idol. Definitely. <laughs> so you're singing Take On Me on Instagram. What happens next? Yeah, so I was dancing. And you know, my body is like, I'm tall, skinny, but booby. My booby are bouncing. That, that tends to happen. So sorry for that. But Don't apologize. That's the truth. You know, the body is bouncing. So I started dance and my boobs were, were bo- bouncing and people started like it, you know, because it's funny and I love to dance. I do it like without any intention. I just, I just had fun. I love to have fun. Same. And Instagram started blocking me. So it's all politics. I go to TikTok. I do the same things. I was just dancing, always in the sport bra and bikini or sport bra and the uh, um, like lingerie, but never naked. Nothing, nothing. Uh, how it called? Um, 
languages is I am in Slovak now. Never mind. So there's no nudity Nothing though. explicit. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing, nothing you technically explicit. should be wrong. No nipples, no pussy, nothing, okay? Mm -hmm. And TikTok already banned me seven times. Have you already met somebody who was banned on TikTok seven times? And you got it back every time? Never. They never restore my account. Okay. If I would have like now TikTok, it will be now like maybe four million followers yeah. there. Because they always ban me like when I had like 300,000, 500,000, 700,000, you know? So, and you are just starting again and again and again. And you are just, I, like, like person, I was just tired, you know? So there was COVID. I had no nothing to do. We were like stuck in home. And my family member, she just texted me like, hey, Veronica, why you are not trying to do OnlyFans? I was like, what's the OnlyFans? I never heard about it. And the person, like my family, she wrote me and she's like very intelligent, smart woman, mm -hmm. very intelligent. She is working for Big Bang in England. She's very smart. She's not like some dumb person, you know. No, so we, we trust her, her recommendation was very, for me, trustful. Um, so I started. It was like um, September 2020. Ooh. Or August 2020. So you're about to be four years in, three and a half years yeah. in. Congratulations on that. And are you thrilled you did it? Can you, can you repeat that? Are you happy you did it? Uh, yeah, definitely, yes. I think the OnlyFans is now the platform where all creators have a biggest freedom of crea creating things. We are not banned. We can do anything. We can talk about anything. Because... The problem is that so many girls understood the OnlyFans platform just like for selling nudity, if I can say. Yeah. It. But for me, it's OnlyFans closer contact with the, my followers. Mm -hmm. It's about talking, sharing emotions, sharing days. I'm not sharing so many stuff on Instagram anymore because I have a closer circle of people who are on OnlyFans. So for me, it's OnlyFans like close people which are supporting me. You know, it's mean more for me. So it's it's the real Veronica fans. They're on. I am real on, on every platform, but I'm more open, like emotionally. I'm sharing my days. I'm sharing my experiences. How when I am sad, when I am crying, when I'm happy, like, and I know that those people, these people, sorry, they are happy with me because mm -hmm. they are supporting me. Yes. So I, I love it. Amazing. Thank you. I'm um, just trying to do content because yeah. that's what i love to do you know and when you are always shut down shut down shut down like that's crazy you know is is i'm interested in how you just mentioned that your post you'll, you'll post throughout your day like if you're happy or sad or crying you'll just straight up just if anyone's trying to get real with veronica only fans is the place to go to it definitely so i do have one question that i ask every guest on the show that, <laughs> I, that i need to ask you okay if you don't have an answer for it it's fine okay and I am going to present this by our new presenting sponsor, Four Loco. What would you say is a, let's just give me a surprising fun fact about Veronica Radrick. Doesn't have to be sexual at all. What, what's something that people don't know? What's the fun fact, Veronica? We are in California and we the are. weed is legal here, okay? Yes, ma'am. So, as a normal person, I tried edibles. Ooh. Drugs are not for everybody. Definitely not for me. What kind of edible did you do? It was some candy. Ooh, I've only done one. I did one. I did I'm one brownie like, one time. I'm like wild. I'm a very wild person. That's why I'm not using any drugs. But I have to try it because, you know, if you not, not try it, you don't know. You know, I'm also just human being. I'm not perfect. Gotta try everything once. No, like I don't want to try everything. But the weed is like nature, you know. So I tried it. Dude, I was like, it was crazy. I was, <laughs> I was laughing for three hours. I was in the problem is that i'm laughing and i'm crying Ooh. and i cannot control it this is the problem i don't like when i can control myself because you know i'm very responsible i'm like normal girl i'm still normal girl but i don't like when you know i don't like when i cannot control my movements and i'm like i think like people are staring at me yes that's exactly how i felt when i did it i did it one time in college i ate a brownie okay and i said you know what i'm gonna eat this brownie and watch the Lego movie by myself, and I can't wait. And I'm sitting there watching the Lego movie, 
and I felt like like my mind wanted my arms to move and the arms just didn't move. <laughs> right. It felt like they just like I was, I was like I want to get up right now but I can't. It felt like my brain was active but my body wasn't. And then I ordered a really 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 disgusting pizza. Okay. I think it had bacon and jalapenos on it, which is not Ooh, the greatest order. Well, valid combination. But then luckily I fell asleep and didn't get it in time and it was cold, so I didn't need it. I don't know. I just had the feeling that I will die. I, I felt my heart, heart somewhere here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot breathe. Let's call ambulance. Let's call police. Mm, you know, I'm no. the very, I was so scared and laughing. And I was like, oh my God, just please end this day. Like, let's do it. And it's like, everything is so slow. You know, like everybody is so, I'm just looking around and everybody's like, stopped. I, when I use it, I just felt like in the time loop. Yes. You know, like time wasn't running and I was still there and I didn't know why. So to clarify, though, you did not call the ambulance. No. <laughs> okay. You can never, you never want to be expensive. <laughs> you never want to be the girl that calls the ambulance for a no, week. No. And I agree. It's, ambulances are way too expensive. We and you have to, to call it only when something happened for real. Like somebody's dying. Not like when yeah. you're high. Okay. Like I was at recently, not recently, it was probably 10 years ago or so. I was at a big horse race by my house on Long Island. Okay. Like 100,000 people go to this event every year. And I'm going to shoot you straight. I got a little too intoxicated that day. And um, yeah, I was just throwing up, whatever. And the, the ambulance was going to take me away. And then my oh. buddy's brother found me and he was like, no, he's good. He's good. Thank God. And then I just went in my buddy's pool and marinated there for hours. And it kind of saved my day. I will tell you a story with the hospital. Oh, give me a hospital funny. story. That's Why not, not funny, but when I was young, I had the appendix. Oh, appendicitis. Okay. Yeah. How how you call it? Appendicitis, I think. Appendicitis. Okay. The, well, the actual organ is called the appendix. Yeah. So this happened to me. I was ten years old, and my dad, like he take he took me to the hospital, and this is the bedside of Slovakia. Like all doctors mm -hmm. were sleeping. We cannot go into the hospital because door were closed. So my dad was holding me on his hands and I was dying because my appendix was like crashed, you know, like, mm -hmm. so that's also like bedside of Slovakia, the, the how it say, uh, healthcare. This yeah. Is, this is great. Healthcare. I don't know much about like this. It's like in a very low level. Slovakia. It never happened in America. You will pay more, yeah. but the, they will care for you. Everyone says we love the Canadian healthcare. Apparently, they got the best healthcare in Canada. Really? Apparently. I've never been in Canada. I have to visit it. Great city. Great country. Okay. You should go. I have like five Canadian friends, and they are the funniest guys I know. Anyone off the top of your head? What? Like, what's top of my head? No, your Canadian friends. I don't know who they are. Nickelback oh. is from Canada. Great you don't band. know, the, like... My fu funniest friend. Like, he is the promoter. Drake is from Canada. You see? Bieber's from Canada. You see? Matthew Perry's from Canada. Okay. Should I keep naming more famous Canadians? Like, I don't know, like, any famous Canadian. I, I just know the Canadians were my friends. And they are just, fa like, like, family, friends, you know. Like. Yeah, it's a great country. I love Canada. Right. Okay. They have good strip clubs in Montreal. I, I'm not sure if I will visit it. <laughs> I really want to sometimes. I'm like, let's go to the strip club. And my friend's like, and what you will do there? I'm like, looking to girls. That's weird. Do you ever go to strip clubs? I want to go. You we haven't can been go to one together. yet? I would be open to it. I've never been to a you strip will be club like in wing Los man, Angeles. You know, like yeah, if you, if you want to be my wingman at a strip club, okay. I'm open to it. I've never been to one in LA. I just love this thing like you're giving the money to the panties. Yes, money it's to so the panties, cool. to the G-strings. It's like old school. You see, I love everything what is old school because I think like the strip clubs are not like so famous now mm -hmm. because we have OnlyFans. Exactly. Thanks God. But like I love it from the movies like, you know, strip yeah. these. Yes, I've seen it with I love it. Demi Moore. Yeah. I've seen that. You love Demi Moore? Many times. You love Demi Moore? I mean, that one clip is insane. <laughs> when she's dancing for the elderly gentleman. Who is your favorite actor from woman? My favorite female actor, mm -hmm. I would say, is Drew Barrymore. Okay. My uh, Scarlett Johansson. Ooh, I love ScarJo. Who doesn't love ScarJo? How about your favorite male actor? Foo. Foo, 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 foo. Mine's a little older. 
I got a little Mark Wahlberg. Ooh, 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 what's your favorite Wahlberg movie? Happening. Everybody killing. Yes. <laughs> Is that the movie where, like, at the end he kills his family and then the, the thing ends? I just love it. Like, Did I just ruin Happening for everybody? But the camp, that came out in like 2008. Um, let's see. What else? Um, yeah, I would say my favorite actor is Robert De Niro. Okay. Love Robert De Niro. Why? Uh, his some roles are unbelievable. Have you seen any De Niro movies? He's the one with playing the movie with the girl. How she called? She, she played Princess. You know, the girl? Oh, the intern. Intern. That's an amazing movie. I love this movie. Amazing movie. And also, I love the movie with the actor who is a donor for sperms. And he has so many kids. <laughs> the delivery man? Yes. With Vince Vaughn? He is my favorite actor, too. I love Vince Vaughn. Sorry, when I'm nervous, I cannot remember the names. No, I got but you. But I, I know this actor. Luckily, okay? I know the names. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you are saving me. You want to <laughs> hear a little fun fact, actually? Tell me. So I'm doing a few interviews today, so I brought a few clothes with me. The tank top that you met me in that red tank top it says speaker city on it okay that's a fake um audio company that vince vaughn's character owns in old school okay i love vince vaughn i thought that you will send me like fan fan fact the actor for real donates sperms or something oh, like no. that. that's the fan fact do you do you actually this is an interesting question i think a lot of women <laughs> i think a lot of women would agree with me do you find Vince Vaughn attractive? I think Vince Vaughn is a very attractive dude. I think he's sexy. I love guys with belly. Oh, do you? Like, you know, like six <laughs> pack. I love six packs. I have six pack. No. But no. it's good to lay down for the belly, you know? Keep saying these things, Veronica. Keep talking about belly. <laughs> no, that's belly. true. You know, Keep like... Keep talking. They just... I love normal guys. Yeah. I love funny guys, normal guys. For sure. I admire the guys who are work out and they're like bodybuilders, but these different type of guys, you know, they care for them. For sure, you have to care for your body. Like, don't be fat. Mm -hmm. Like, don't be like obese and unhealthy. But like, I don't think like the belly is problem. You know, we are also not perfect. So. Hey, you want to hear a fun fact? Tell me. I've done the elliptical the last three days of my life. What you did? The elliptical in the gym. Ellip okay. 50 minutes, three days in a row. High five. Good. Just letting you know that. Just throwing that out there. Damn, that's a good win for Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, love him. And also, I love the, you know, the Entourage. It's my favorite series. No? Stop. Did I say something it's wrong? My, it's, my favorite, it's my favorite show of all time. Really? I yes. love Ari Gold. Stop. He's my love forever. Stop. My, my, heart, my heart is fluttering right now, Veronica. Oh, my God. But, okay. My fa most fam favorite person on... All planet is one guy. Ooh. He's very famous. He's my role model. He made so many things for me. His name is Michael Scott. Michael Scott? He's Over like, Ari Gold? Yes. He's sexy, funny, responsible, and The Office is the best show. I think Entourage is okay, the best Okay, I have show. like three guys. Who like are your Ari three Gold? I love this conversation. Who are your three? Ari Gold, David Larry, Larry David, sorry. Oh, amazing. And uh, Michael Scott. Veronica, you have amazing taste in pop I love culture. Them. In pop culture. And I you know love what? Them. I will say, I think more men should do this. Not that people are judging you, like, not liking you, but I think what you watch is such an indication of character. Yeah. I've said this many times. Sometimes I feel like Larry David. In yeah. The world, you know? Like and any girl I've ever like seriously talked to in my life. I feel like Larry David. Amazing. I love like Michael Scott and I want to be like Ari Gold. Yes. Oh, I love Ari. So I'm much. just woman in the men world and it's so tough. So I need to combine those three characters to me and I will be perfect. Okay. How about this? I'm so impressed. Because like I, like I said, like any girl I've ever like loved, I always say like we, we like the same shows and movies i think that's a great judge of character okay it's like if you're watching that stuff it's just good stuff like ever watch you know what you should watch next what the sopranos Whew. okay okay oh uh, wait i will i will watch it for you and after we will do interview how i like it we should did you ever watch the charmed it's a very no. girly thing 
I have. Well, actually, I love magic. Well, you know? do you know what I'm actually watching right now? What? Sex in the City. Okay, I the watched the time. Sex in the City when I was 23 years old because I think I I I just had to grown up mentally for this thing. You know, I wasn't mm -hmm. born in New York. I was yeah. born in a small city in Europe, mm -hmm. so I didn't understand like what's going on there. Okay. Sorry. I got a good question for you. Let's do Your it. three favorite guys. Okay. Fuck, marry, <laughs> kill. Michael Scott, Ari Gold, Larry David. Uh, marry Michael Scott because he will love me for who I am. Fuck Ari, Dave, um, Ari Gold. And then we're killing Larry? Uh, uh, you got to kill LD? Uh, sorry. Unbelievable. He's old. <laughs> Michael Scott's going to get let's old. Let's be honest. Ari Gold. His scenes in Entourage, he would fuck me crazy. Definitely. This is, this is like fan fiction erotica for me. Like I'm obsessed with Entourage. But we are talking about character, Ari Gold, not yes. about the actor, okay? But character. then again, but then again, theoretically, would you rather live in Scranton, Pennsylvania or LA? Oh, I, oh, I hate winter. How about that? You have to live in Scranton, Pennsylvania. But Michael Scott, he moved from Scranton to the That's other true. city. That's true. So I think he would love me so much. That you'd fly him out here. Yes. So we, he okay. will come here. Or maybe we will go to Florida and we just retire there. Mm. Yeah. I think that's where everyone's got to just do. Michael Scott, call me. <laughs> gotta. Please. Is that what you want? And also real one. He can call me too. <laughs> Steve Carell? Yes. Please call me. Just call me. Yeah. Please, Steve Carell. My please give her a call. Four two, four. <laughs> please, please give her a ring, Steve Carell. But um, amazing. That's a great answer. Um, do you intend to just retire to Florida? Is that your goal? Because that's my goal. That's what yeah, I want to do. Yeah, and I will also own like golf cart. I will go play <gasps> golf. And I will sunbat my body. So. Because now I'm not, I'm not sunbathing because it's like, you, you, you know, you don't want to have wrinkles. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just using spray tan. But when I will be old... Whoa. Then you got to do it. Get some tan lines yeah. back in your day. Yeah. You know what I really want that I've been saying recently for the past couple of weeks? So I want to retire to Florida okay. eventually. And I don't want a golf cart. I want a moke. Do you know what a moke is? No. It's like a golf cart Jeep hybrid. Okay. And you could bring Can them on the road. Can you show me a picture? I'm yes. a woman. When somebody asks me like, what's your car, Veronica? I, white. I think you're going to love this. <laughs> My car is white. Picture this. You're driving around. This doesn't not get okay. Look at this. Tell me this doesn't look like the most fun of all time. This picture's kind of blurred. Oh. <gasps> Does that not and look in pink amazing? Color. Wow. You could make it white. You can Are you make buying it pink. It? When I eventually retire to Florida, they're only like 30K. So we can retire together. Yes. With Michael Scott. Yes. I could be it could be like three's company. I see. Exactly. But I feel like you're a Miami type of gal. I'm not a Miami type of guy. You are Miami type of guy. No. I. I. Why do you think I am Miami type of girl? Because I'm pretty sure I read in an article today that you split time between LA and Miami. That's true, but I'm definitely a bikini person. But I think I belong more to LA. Mm -hmm. So you know what I love? I love um, Delray Beach. Have you ever been to Delray Beach? Okay, Delray Beach. It's like no. It's like an hour north of Miami. It's right yeah. on the beach. It's awesome. I love Malibu. Because I love Miley Cyrus. Ooh. Is that that's Malibu. yeah? <laughs> I love Malibu too because two and a half men they live in Malibu. Okay, Great Charlie show. Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Legend. I don't know if I want to fuck him, but <laughs> he's a stud. You want to you want to bang Michael Scott, but not it's Charlie already, Harper. Now it's so sexual podcast. I think no, it's not. We're talking about having sex with TV characters here. Okay, okay. okay. This is a fun conversation. But, but um, I think Ellen is underrated. Ellen? Because just imagine you have guy. He is handsome. And he's also chiropra chiropractor, chiropractor, chiropractor. Yeah, Veronica, so you know your sex, stuff. After sex, you have massage for free. Wow. Duh. So when you're not paying to tie girls for massage, you have guys, guy who will do it for free, and he's happy. So in the two and a half men world, you're going Alan over Charlie. Definitely. He's Whoa. alcoholic. Come on. Whoa. I had alcoholic in my life. No, no way. Let me tell you, Veronica, I would like to compliment you. Again, <laughs> your vast knowledge of American television and movies <laughs> is insane. Okay. More than, more than 
I think basically more than any American woman I know. Really? So, congrats. Thanks. I want to give you your flowers That's on that. why I have more guy friends like than women. I'm, I'm stunned. We're talking entourage. We're talking two and a half men. That's my favorite shows. The Delivery Man. I just watched, I've just watched Two and a Half Men for the first time within the last few months. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, let's move on to another topic. Um, how, what do you, what's, uh, what's life like now? You the, these days you dating, are you in the dating world? Hmm. Not really. Not really? Hmm. You've retired? I'm retired. <laughs> wow. Not ret- retired. No, no, no. <laughs> retired. R-E-T-I-R-E-D. <laughs> retired. Um, okay. Interesting. So, you well, know, I always thinking about like, let's do some podcasts where people will know me better and the things are going so south that. I don't know if people know me better now. I think this is a great podcast so far. Really? What do you mean? Yeah. Because, for example, I love crepes with Nutella or Kinder Chocolate. or wait, I love wait. I, I love this. I love this. What are we talking about? Grapes? No, grapes. Grapes. Oh, crepes. Like the, the, like the, 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 the thin pancake. Yes, thin pancake. Give me more things you love. I love this. I'd rather talk about this. I love go to the bed at midnight. Strictly at midnight? Uh-huh. Like, not like strictly, but midnight and 10 minutes. And then you call it a day. What, what's your keys to a better night's sleep? Mm, sex. And good skincare routine. That's fair. So let's say And it's, you cannot eat sweet before you are going to the bed. Yeah. Because after you have nightmares. Oh, the sweets and night nightmares? Mm-hmm. So You didn't know it? No, I didn't. Are you not. eating sweets? No. What's I, your favorite sweet? I'm really not a sweets guy. Hmm. Huh. Which may shock you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so the other show I do is called Sunday Conversation. It's on okay. my hat right here. And I eat ice cream on that show, actually. <gasps> Why you didn't call me there? What? You are eating ice cream in the podcast and I wasn't invited. People are eating ice cream in the podcast and they don't call me? Yeah, that's our, that's our that's show. That's a sin. That's our show, basically. Is, so the show is my... You know what's my dream job? What? Be in the bar stool. Be on Barstool. Like, do podcasts. But I need to, like, improve my English. You but should. if I will do, like, questions, I understand. But yeah, I don't want to, like, replace you. No worries. No, you're you always your wel- show. You're always welcome. Hey, you're welcome to co-host with me whenever you want. Okay. Perfect. We could, have, we could just do a TV podcast, frankly. Okay. Whatever I you like want. I like the idea. I think you got to check out the other show, though. The other show I is I hope really you are good. not just polite to me and after you're like, oh, this girl sucks. Nope. <gasps> Veronica, there's no... There is no bigger key to my heart than talking about pop culture. Okay. And the, the fact that you're not even from America and know all that, I'm so impressed. So impressed. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, whenever you want to come to, if you're ever in New York, you should come to Barstool. That's okay. where our headquarters is. But um, Like, guys, you're all in New York? Yeah, so we have an office in Chicago and New York. I'm okay. in the New York one. So I'm from New York as well. You okay. like New York? During summer, <laughs> yes, but like, how you deal with winter? I know you're wearing a jacket, but you're from I look Slovakia. <laughs> don't you have That's way why colder I left. winters? I don't want to freeze anymore. Like, I won't be speaking in summer. Of, speaking of, um, before we started, we were talking about World War Two. Yeah. Speaking of colder areas like that, that's the reason that the Nazis lost the war is yeah. because Hitler got all too big for his bridges and then said, "Let me go invade Russia in the yeah. winter." No Probably, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Way too, too cold. Too cold for everybody. Way too Even cold. You ain't invading anywhere in winter, especially Russia. But yeah, no. So New York, it's an interesting place. I, I like it and love it at the same time. Okay. I like that my friends and family are there. One day I was biking in New York during summer. It was like my... F- That's the thing. You're a daredevil. You were biking in New I York? I flew to New York. And I, when I was a child, I still have my, my room in my parents' house. Mm-hmm. And I had a huge picture of New York on my wall, like Manhattan. So when I flew to New York, I go to airport and I just, I just kiss the floor. Really? I was like, America, yes. I was so happy that I am there. And I, I rented the bikes and yeah. I bike like all city. And after I went to the pizza, I was so hungry. And there was like hidden pizza spot. And when I returned other day, like after, the, the pizzeria was, wasn't there. 
It's just like it was just magic place. It was there and it wasn't. Like it's normal in New York. There is like restaurant and the second day is not there. I guess it must not have been a good pizzeria, respectfully. Have you had any really good New York pizzerias? This was the my best pizza in the life. Oh really? I don't know why. Maybe oh. because I went like I don't know how my, how many miles it is, but it's like sixty kilometers. So. You know what we should do for a video? What? You down to do it again? Okay. The next time you're in New York, we should bike the perimeter of Manhattan. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I've never done it before. Really? I've never gotten on a bike in New York. It's terrifying. That would be a fun video. Okay, so how look basic day, like average day of New Yorker guy? Like what you guys do? This is what I want to know because we know how look like basic day of uh, girls. Mm -hmm. It's like gossip girls, right? Yes. And the sex, sex in, in the, the city. city. But what is the normal day of guys in New York? So my normal day, if, I'm, if it's like maybe a weekend or a mm -hmm. Thursday, I like to go to games. Like I'm a big hockey fan. Okay. So I'll wake up, maybe hit on the elliptical. Okay. okay. Head on the train. <laughs> Go to work, hang out at work, and then um, if there's a game on it, like we have Madison Square Garden, which is our like a huge arena right in the city. So I like to maybe go to a Ranger game or something. That that's my ideal night. Okay. Maybe hit a bar before or after, grab a martini. Okay. And um, hit the hit hit the. Hay. I think in New York or in the cities up there where it's more cold, like mm -hmm. when it's like hot outside, so we are more like chill. You have like time for everything, but in cold, you just want to do it and like go home for martini and for playing game or go to the game, you know. So you have to know some uh, hockey players from Slovakia. Kara. 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 Is it Dano Chara? Ch Chara. He's Kara. He's Kara? <laughs> yes. Don't see. This is where I feel. This is where I feel awkward now. I don't know how to properly say it. He's Kara. He, what's, how do you say his first name? His name is, his name is spelled Z-D-E-N-O. So Deno. it's Deno Chara. Deno Chara. Deno Chara. Yes. I forgot he's Slovakian. He is Slovakian. He's so handsome and so tall. Respect right? Respectfully to Mr. Chara. He's not the hottest guy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, who is the hottest hockey player? The hottest hockey player? Yeah. Off the top of my head? Yeah. I mean, I'm a... What Ranger about Jagger? You know Jager? I love Jager. Mm, okay. Why? No, I'm just asking. Why, why are you asking if Man I know things, Jager? You know, like, I love Jager. I'm just, I'm just making competition in woman mind. You know, we are, we are see, looking for hockey players like for the sexual objects, not like how good player he is. See, you know, I like, think Jager is a stud. Okay. He's an all-time stud. Okay. He's a hero of mine. And he's one of the first jerseys I ever owned. I love Jager. Okay. So, but your favorite. My favorite uh -huh. of all time, he's Swedish. His name is Henrik Lundqvist. Okay. And he's actually the hottest guy like, ever. You want to see a picture of him? Mm -hmm. He's Show me. Maybe he, I fall in love. He is. Michael Scott is in danger. <laughs> oh, no. Henrik Lundqvist is unfathomably hot. He was for the goalie really? on the Rangers for probably 15 years. And he is ridiculous. That's him. Woo. Okay. That's uh wait, let me get a good hair picture. Look at this guy. Look at that stud. He looks a little bit like our new bachelor in Slovakia. Look at this guy. <laughs> little bit he looks little Look at similar. this guy. Okay. He looks like Clark Kent from yeah, the Superman. Exact this girl and her American references. They're too you know too much. I just love America. You know more American I just stuff love than America. me. Hey, yeah. guys, I just love America. Speaking of, we did, I did tell you that we would discuss um, your love of America. Mm -hmm. We did discuss that before you sat down. So um, let me, um, let's say off the top of your head, I love America. America's okay. great. Okay. Let's go one for one, our three favorite things about America. You okay. go first. Definitely food, especially cherry Coke. Okay. Like, I love the syrup inside. Mmm, delicious. Uh, is it, there's nothing better than a fountain Coke. I love it. Like, you guys know how to do good food. Yes. Definitely. Ooh, have you ever had, um, this is just going to become a TV and food podcast okay. now, so whatever. Okay. Have you ever had American barbecue? 
I had it. Where? Do you remember where? Washington. The state or the city? City. Washington City. Okay, yeah, you can't. Where have, is the you, White you House? You can't have barbecue in Washington, D.C. Why? You got to have it. There deep, is very inside information. Deep in know. the South. So there's different regions. There's Texas uh, barbecue, which is more like beef focused, brisket, beef ribs. Okay, now I will surprise you. My favorite American food is biscuit and gravy. Oh. From, you know, Oklahoma, very southern of you. Ohio. Yes. There's the food. You That's, know? It's pretty amazing. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's pretty amazing. I know I look like I'm, I'm not eating because I am skinny, but I love American food. Oh, man, I love it too. But after I'm spending like two hours in gym every day. You know, got like, it. Sausage, biscuits, and gravy. I'm you got to go I'm three guilty. hours for biscuit and gravy. That okay. stuff's insane. And what's your favorite food, Amer American? My favorite American mm -hmm. food, I would say, this is so hard. There's so many. But tell me. I would maybe venture to say, I don't know if this is considered an American food, but I think it would be, is, uh, I see your necklace, is uh, I love food from a Jewish deli. Like, matzo ball. Like oh a matzo God. ball soup and then a, just a pastrami on rye. The best is Jewish restaurant, I think, is in New York. Katz's Deli. Katz's Deli. I went there last week. I I and I all the pickles. Yeah, I think that, pickles. I think that, if, like my death row meal would be matzo ball soup, and then pastrami with a little Thousand Island dressing and maybe Swiss cheese and coleslaw. That's my But my idea. emotional American food is French fries dipped with the cheese. It's emotional because it was the food I first time ate on the football game. Ah, uh, the football game? Mm-hmm. It's like in New York. Mm. See, you brought the football game up. I didn't bring it up. Yeah, but that's my favorite food. <laughs> so, you know, I have to ask you about one question and we could... Be That's my second favorite, favorite thing in yes. America, American football. So speaking of American football, everyone, I looked up your name today and it's all Tom Brady. I cannot say like my favorite thing in America is Tom Brady because he's person, he's human being. Yes. So it's not nice talking about person, like about the thing. So, okay. But my favorite person <laughs> in, a, in American football is Tom Brady. And can you give me the backstory and how you just, just a quick backstory and how you became just the Tom Brady super fan? How did this happen? I just love him. He's so talented. You know, he's everything what every woman want to have. Sorry, talking for all of you, but... What if I were to say that I think Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady? No. No, definitely no. What about Patrick Mahomes? I cannot say, like, he's not more handsome because... Ooh, the, you the, think Aaron's more handsome than Tom? Not, beauty is subjective. Like, it's in the eye of the beholder. I'm not objective now, but I think the Tom Brady is more handsome than Aaron. But I think Aaron's better at football. No, I cannot say it. I don't know. I think so. How about Patrick Mahomes? Big talent, definitely. <laughs> mm. The way you just said big talent sounded like a literal sports analyst. Yeah, because like, you know, comparing to Tom... It's hard to compare mm -hmm. the gold with others. Like, we will see. We will see. Okay. Let's make this window open because he, I think he has still career in front of him. So, hey, let's go back to our three favorite American okay. things. So, your favorite American thing is one, our food. Yes. I'm going to say, this is a shocking one, but I've actually recently did a road trip. I'm going to say our vast... Our vast um, landscape, I guess. Okay. Like I was driving today. Los Angeles, I think, is a great example. I was driving today and yesterday in Los Angeles. Within 100 miles, there's mountains, beaches, valleys, canyons. It's wild. And I, I, you I have recently, everything in California. I recently drove through from Aspen to Denver. That drive with all those mountains was unbelievable. Okay. And then you could also do a drive in New York where you're driving through far... like. Upper, upper New York, it's mostly flat. There's some mountains. There's Appalachian Mountains, but Adirondacks. But those the mountains are just so different than the other mountains. And then you can drive up and down a beach. I think the vast majority of our landscape, the different climates and everything, is very interesting to me. Now you go. This will be very woman answer now, but I love how American raising their kids. Ooh, okay. Because your type of raising the kids is like you are supporting them like for example the kids go to the match 
football or soccer, whatever, or golf, hockey, and they lose. And the dad is like, yes, buddy, you did a great job. Next time it will be better. You are so like talented or you are so, oh, Jesus Christ, I, f I forget the world. But you are just, I love the way how you are supporting kids. You know, in Europe, I did athletic for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And when I lose or when I didn't win, it was just like, oh, Renka, you fucked up. We are paying for this and that and you are like not too good. You know, you, I love at all. Like I love not just how you are raising kids, but how you are looking for things. You are always concentrating for positive things. I think America l like taught me how to look for better things. You know, like, for example, a few days back, I went to event and I wore like clothes, which were like, you know, they're, they're, it was like very uh, brave dress. Yeah. I wasn't naked. It, it was it, a revealing still dress. dress. It was a revealing dress. An American audience or like like american audience they're always so supportive like okay it, it is extravagant okay she is maybe a little bit naked but it's nice in slovakia they're like oh it's vulgar they always focusing for bad things like i don't understand even from this podcast i bet like i can bet like thousand dollars that all americans will be like oh my god she's doing great job she's speaking in english and she is from slovakia her english is not great i know it you know i know it i'm not stupid but slovak people who are even not like native english people who are speaking like english they be like her english sucks he should be more silent don't talk be just beauty you are just uh beauty not brain so they always there's the mentality why i left from slovakia to america because i allowed mentality how you guys think well, amen well hey we're happy to have you here and that's the truth I love America here. for this. You're always looking for nice things. I think we're for gonna, nice women, for nice people, for nice everything. I think we're going to clip that. That's a beautiful, nice patriotic clip for America out there. I might, I might play that on 4th of July to hype myself up this year. <laughs> no, that's true. You know, I, I'm just honest. That, that's why I think like people from Europe living to, Amer like, to America. Because the way how you are looking for things, that's insane. You are always know how to find beauty in something, in woman, in sport, in really raising child here. I know it's tough, but it's tough everywhere. But how you are supporting these small people, you know, like, yeah, buddy, you was good. I'm, I just went with, on the baseball training with my friends and how the parents are supporting kids is like bound for my soul. You love it. Amazing. Do you? Um, I want to have small Americans. That's what I was about to say. Do you think? Yeah. At one day later in life, you want to be an American mom. I want to be American mom with a so big Stanley man. Cup. Yeah, big Stanley Cup. <laughs> Sipping the water. You say you want to be a full blown like, American mom. Yeah. What are your um? What are your thoughts on that? What do you want to do? How does um? Wait, let me let me rephrase this. My apologies. So you want to be an American mom? Definitely. You want to be like a soccer mom, bringing them to all the games and the minivan. Any sport. Is that the definitely. American? Is that the American dream for you? Mm -hmm. Amazing. I am still woman. I want to be mom. So of course. You know, I will never. I I will not be young forever, and I am fine with it. I am fine with aging. I want to be mom. Do you um? Like, I know you just answered, but do you have a sport that you wanted to play particularly? Like my kids. Yeah. Football. Football. <laughs> And hockey now, <laughs> <Hockey's> <laughs> because getting, you <laughs> hockey's getting pretty big here. I, I'm, but I'm, you know what? It's like if you are waiting on the hockey stadium, there is so cold. You always have to have a blanket with you. Like it's nice, but I think it's more tough than going for the football training with your. Yeah, kid. but then again, football is a lot. It's a lot more tackling. It is, but you know, and hockey's getting big in America. Like and a, also, like you know, like I think like hockey players are more covered. You cannot see face so much, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to burst your bubble, but football players also wear helmets. <laughs> but they are, they are putting helmet down, you know? You see, like, the Kelsey was, like, 
uh, screaming to the coach. Yeah, he was being mean to Andy Reid. His Reed. face, his impressions. It was breathtaking. Like, what I were was your like, thoughts wow. on that? On on him yelling at Andy Reid? Like, I don't think it's sport behavior, but I am not a football player, so my opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on Travis and Taylor Swift's relationship? They are cute. I agree. And I think I think they, if they will be married, their end game. What? Yeah, they're gonna get married. They will. Yeah. So they will have nice kids. Because you know, she's beautiful, he's handsome. You know what I think the saddest part about that relationship is? What? I see a new video every week of tr poor Travis Kelsey just at her concert, standing by himself with no one in the vicinity of him. But you see, he's supporting her. I know. I feel like he's got to start bringing his friends. Why doesn't he bring his friends? He's there <laughs> alone. Count Taylor. Every week he's there alone. He's like, the cutest thing. I'm like, brother, just bring, bring some pals with you so you're not standing <laughs> there alone. Every night I'm looking at a new video of him just by himself. Just Maybe mm -hmm. he just loves her music. She makes great music. I think it's very good to like be in a relationship with somebody who know how to sing. Yeah. Because you have always good vibe in your house. She's always singing, you know, and mm -hmm, you know. Well, hey, you know, actually speaking like speaking of music, we discuss TV, we discuss movies. What type of music do you listen to? All these, and my favorite is Miley Cyrus. Okay. Like I love her. I think she's totally opposite of Taylor Swift. I think they used to be like on the same level, kind of, before Taylor insanely popped off. I grown up on Hannah Montana. You know? Oh, that was your show? Mm, my God. My dream city to live is Tennessee. Oh, like and Nashville? And have a big ranch and horses and hat and boots and be this girl you that's, know, from um, the Tennessee. That's where I also want to retire. I love Tennessee. it. Tennessee. Have you ever been to Nashville? I want to go to Nashville. I go to Nashville like once a month. It's the best city in the country. Really? It's amazing. I just heard from my friends like people are drinking there on the lunch. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, I will say for someone that doesn't drink, it's, it's a lot. But I drinking. don't have a problem with people who drink. I just don't like the feeling in my body after when I yeah. drink. That's the only one reason but, why um, I don't drink. Yeah, no, I go to Nashville all the time. It's a great city. And there's also many awesome places that you could get like a ranch okay. outside, like 20, 30 minutes outside the city. Area called Leapers Fork, Franklin, Tennessee. There's uh, Bell Mead. There's okay. many great little neighborhoods where you can get a great ranch. And you can be 30 minutes from downtown Nashville. It's an amazing place. Okay. I think, I think my life eventually... How old do you think I am right now? 30. 27. Mom. But, I think, but <laughs> I think by the time I'm 30, I would like my ideal life would be like having a place in Nashville. Okay. And then 40, Florida. Okay. That's that's my life trajectory. Okay. So you don't want to stay in New York? No. No. It's no. for young people. No. I mean, my, my family's there. But They're I love older. Hamptons. I, I, you know, I literally, I literally How live, rich I, I have to be to live in Hamptons? You got to be Very rich, rich. rich. I don't even know if OnlyFans money can get you a Hamptons house. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. But. I don't know if OF money is Hamptons worthy. Like Hamptons are crazy. I, I live on this. I live on Long Island. So I live on the same island as the Hamptons. Okay. And I've never been to the Hamptons. <laughs> you got food and raising of the children. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with landscape. And then I can't. You're, you taking food was kind of mean on your end. But I think I'm going to say beaches. Where does that fall under the beaches landscape? Beaches or beaches? <laughs> I I, I, love, I just love this <laughs> B-E-A-C-H-E-S okay. But I guess I mean could I just say boobs Boobs are boobs, pretty American Boobs are good I'm, gonna, I'm going boobs I'm going to go boobs Landscape and boobs Are my two okay. so far Okay Now your third one mm, Let me think I love how Everything is so big Okay <laughs> Everything's bigger in I America I mean like streets <laughs> Houses, cars, parking lots. I'm okay. terrible. Like, I'm a good driver, but I don't know how to park. You're very easy to please, Veronica. You get hyped up over parking lots. You see? You're going on roller coasters to relax. You get <laughs> a, a good parking lot really, really weirdo. hypes you I'm up. I'm totally weird, the person. A, a good parking lot really, really gets you going. <laughs> also, I love how big you have the supermarkets. Yes, we do. You big supermarkets. Fight. Also, the portion of food are big. We do have big portions of food. You see? So it's we are not saving... Place. It's a hell of a place. I'm gonna. What is my last favorite American thing? I'm gonna go with. Um, 
I think I'm going to go with our movies. I think we have great movies. I love Definitely. movies and I love television. I think our pop culture is great. Perfect. And I guess before we wind down here, do you have any um any questions for me? Mm, are you happy? I am pretty happy, yeah. Okay. Not, not many things to not be happy about. Are uh, you in some relationship? No. Are you dating somebody? No, I am not. What would be your last food before you die? That's my favorite question. Okay, what would be my last food before I die? Yeah. My death row meal would probably be... Well, I think I said it already, but I think I would do an appetizer. Okay. Would you be, can pick would three. like Cheese fries from Outback Steakhouse. Okay. And then I think... Uh, I truly think like a pastrami on rye okay. would be up there. And for this dessert? Actually, you know what? So on my phone, I'm a list person. I make lists of everything. Okay. And I travel a lot. So I have a list of every best thing I've tasted. Let me pull it up. Do it. And I will pick something from there. Let me pull this up. These are the best bites of food I've had on my travels. Okay. You can share this list with me. I won't try it. Okay, wait. So I see. I want to say something, but I want. I want to. I want to cut it because I don't want to give them the credit. But there. So I had a deli that I that I was obsessed with on Long Island. Okay. And they recently sold to a new owner, and I no longer want to go to it because I love the owner so much, the okay. original owner. So that used to be up there for my favorite meal. But um, I would maybe say, you know what I really do love? What? Dan Dan noodles. Have you ever had Dan Dan noodles? I don't know. What is it? It's, a, it's like a Szechuan dish from China. And it's literally just noodles, like skinny noodles with spicy minced pork in it. Okay. And a spicy oil. And when it all mixes together, it is okay. out of this world. It's so I'm not good. eating Chinese food because I puke from it last time. So I'm telling you, this, this may be different. It's really good. Okay. It's really, really good. That's a good death row meal. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other things. Um, relationship, no. Am I happy? Yes, I do think I am happy. What you would you take for the abandoned island with you? One how, many, thing. how many things do I get? One, One thing. I feel like the obvious answer is an iPhone, but I don't think that's a fair answer. And it cannot be technology. Can I be te- what if you do an abandoned island? Um, to just keep me entertained and it's not technology? Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I've never done one, but I guess theoretically a Rubik's Cube. Rube? A Rubik's Cube? Rubik's Cube. I think a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Because I would never finish it, and it will always <laughs> give me something to do, I guess. Okay. Or I could be like Tom Hanks and Castaway and just bring a ball and make it my friend. Let's see. Make my very own Wilson. But I think I would... I would take boat. What would you say? Boat. A bolt? Boat. Boat. Boat? Oh, a boat. Yeah. That's not. It's a, not entertainment. That's not a real it's answer. It's not a technique. So that's going to get you off the island. That's the point. You have one thing. Okay, well then, no my, technology. Well, then my one thing is also a boat. You see? And you can like paddle. No, like, I don't know how it's called. Yeah, paddle. Paddle. You got it, right? You see? All right, well, hey, Veronica, I think we've been going for like an hour here. If we got, you got anything else you want to say? You are so good, like, in making interviews. You think so? Yeah, I, I felt good. I was stressed. I could tell. Did we do good? Mm-hmm. Did I do good talking remotely slow? Mm-hmm. I tried my hardest. Sometimes I didn't understand, but... Uh, my apologies on that. And my apology that I am I think, still not native speaking person. I think anyone that watches the show knows I like to talk really fast. So, my apologies. I tried my hardest. <laughs>